You know, there's a lot of work that goes into flipping homes that, that goes on be behind the scenes, I'd like to say. Uh, a lot of times episodes are 30 minutes to an hour long, but there's months of preparation that goes in even before the project is bought. A lot of time is spent on marketing to try to find a good project that you can buy under market value. A lot of time is spent doing due diligence and, and looking at spreadsheets, things that aren't necessarily sexy or something you'd see featured on a TV show, but are very important to the business as a whole. And it really should be treated as a business if you're going to get into investing in real estate full-time. One common thing that a lot of people don't know is you really make your money when you buy the property. That's where the money is made as a real estate investor. Uh, yes, it's, it's critical how we manage a construction process and manage the rehab. But if you buy the project wrong, you're going to start off, you know, uh, basically you're going to start off in a hole at, at that point. And that's not where you want to be. And so that's a pretty common thing that you'll see a lot of investors don't necessarily know when they're first getting started. Yeah, that's a good question. There's a lot of benefits to flipping homes and investing in real estate. First of all, you're your own boss. You truly are an entrepreneur, but at the same time, that requires that you be self-motivated and a self-starter of sorts. Uh, secondly, you have to be very comfortable taking calculated risks. As a real estate investor, you're constantly going to be buying projects that you don't necessarily know the final outcome of, and so that's just something that you adapt to. Third, you're gonna be raising money constantly. A lot of people don't realize that when they get into real estate, but that's how projects are funded, utilizing other people's money. And so you wanna feel very comfortable talking to people. And finally, you have to enjoy the process. You know, I've been investing for 13 years and every day is a new day. There's a new challenge on the horizon and I, I just love the process of building something, not only seeing a project transform before my eyes, but also just the, the process of building a business. It really excites me and, and that's something that motivates me beyond just the ability to earn a profit. Yeah, uh, there is. You could actually start off by buying rental properties. That's a, a, a much, uh, there's no such thing as a risk of ver or a risk free investment strategy. Every investment strategy has risk, but buying rental properties is one of the best ways to dip your toe into the market, uh, to get a feel for what investing in real estate looks like. There's also a lot of long term benefits the cash flow, the tax benefits of owning the property. A tenant is paying down your mortgage if you go out there and take a loan on the property. And then, of course, you know, long term, there's, there's market appreciation, which all factor into a successful real estate investment. So, that's a great way for beginning investors to, to get started and just get a feel for the market. You know, it definitely helps, but it's not absolutely necessary. What's most important is that before you just go out and buy a property, is that you spend three, six, nine months educating yourself about how the mechanics of real estate transactions actually work. You should study the market. You should study a successful business model that you're going to apply to that market. And that's the most critical advice I can give any new investor or anybody who's thought about getting into real estate is spend the time to get educated before you just jump in. Yeah, you can go to my website, thanmerrill.com, and I have a lot of good articles and information about investing in real estate on the website.